So, welcome to the third part of my tutorial uh, of modeling and designing a spaceship, like you see in the background. Um, so far we have a basic model without any texture. Um, the um, model itself is not finished yet. It looks like, if you follow tutorial 1a and 1b, it should look like that. We have a panorama window and basic um, part of the upper saucer section of, of a Star Trek spaceship. Of course, we could now continue with modeling uh, the spaceship, but uh, to uh, because of uh, that the rendering uh, right now looks quite boring, we will first um, add a texture so that you can see the progress immediately, and we'll continuing modeling the uh, uh, our model, our our spaceship afterwards. So, creating a texture. Of course, there are several ways of creating a texture. Um, my favorite is actually to just use the same Blender file uh, or the mo model we, which we have so far to make a texture since the dimensions and the shape is already perfect. Um, so for this reason let's save that. First is tutorial 1c dot blend. This will be the file where we will assign the uh, texture but what we, what we also need is another file saying we called it 1c this one you'll see call 1c texture okay let's start we have our model and now we um, st first of all start with um, uh, copying the whole mesh by pressing shift and D now we have a second part here oh I pressed this uh, S button back then so we have now uh, two parts of this um, model and we will just move the one which we copied a little bit upward so that the one um, mesh is always above the other one and we can actually use something which we didn't use right now this, uh, this is this part here this uh, rectangle here defines uh, several layers we have 20 at all and we will use a second layer for the second uh, mesh by pressing the M key on the keyboard and then just pressing 2. Now we see we have one mesh in one layer and the other one in this layer. And we can show both of them at once. Uh, at, um, at once, yeah. If you want. So let's increase the size a little bit more. So now it's clearly visible here. Here's the lower mesh and here's the upper mesh. So let's just take a look on our upper mesh right now without moving it and separate this section from this section and this section to have more power by modeling our grid. Let's start actually by modeling our grid. Um, for this reason I will just use this one and say uh, select all parts which are which have this material and say X delete the faces. Now um, we have three sections here. If you press the L key you will just select um, vertices which are linked uh, and we see that all of them oops, all of them are separated now. So let's start making our grid. We don't want a grid here where the grid should be positioned so we remove this vertex. vertex. Here we want um, a grid and here too and here too. Here in the window part not. That's ugly, so let's remove the window here. Actually, the most easy way to remove is it, it to go to the mode where occluding uh, the vertices are occluding the vertices which are uh, behind, so that we can't see it. This and uh, can't see this anymore. And then um, we can go to face selection and select just these faces here. Oops, let's shift this, 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 this. How much you want. Uh, but this area should be completely selected. Uh, and this one too. Oop, oop. Oh. And then press the H key. Don't worry, it's uh, the faces are just hided right now. They are still there. But now we can see the the window part here clearly and go to this mode where we can see through the um, uh, surfaces 
again and just go to vertex selection press the C key on your keyboard and select all of these uh, vertices which contains uh, which which uh, are defining the window here and just say X vertices so delete the vertices and if we press Alt H now the other faces which we hide it before just appear again so now we remove the window that it will not um, disturb us anymore so then here here we want some uh, grid too maybe we don't want the grid continue here so let's uh, carefully select these with alt with, with holding the alt key these edges here and with alt shift let's select these edges here no I didn't get got them so control Z uh, let's select edge selection that will make this easier yeah this one okay um, and additionally this one okay this didn't work okay now it worked um, let's if we delete all the vertices we will delete a lot of stuff but we want to delete exactly uh, so much stuff so that's let's say x vertices for some reason we didn't remove that let's do it manually so now we have just this upper part here um, okay <coughs> let's do our grid this is a little bit um, annoying since we have to do a lot here but it's okay so let's uh, let just select this edge this edge this edge and this edge oh we still have uh, faces here that's that's bad we don't want those faces so let's select all of these um, faces here by pressing the L key since they are separated now we will get all of them and press the X key and say only faces so we delete only the faces but we still have our edges here you see um yeah so now we can start uh, modeling our grid like we wanted before so let's scale it oh no sorry let's extrude it first and then scale it down so if we want to have the perfect shape now we should we need it we need to subdivide this again and subdivide this and you know the same thing which we, which we did with the panorama but since this is a tutorial we will just choose a um, easier way for you it will not look as good as if we, as if it, as if we would do it um, manually but it will in, um, decrease the time we need uh, dramatically so we will just use it uh, we will just say don't render and don't show the subsurface right now that we will our, our um, image will look like that afterwards um, that is not perfect since our model will be a surface but since this is a texture it will um, look quite good and that our mod model will be uh, still uh, high and will still have a high resolution so it, I think that's a good compromise but if you want it uh, perfect you should um, do it like we do, did with the window and let the sur surface uh, there so let's select the next edge, extrude and scale and here we could do it more perfect too by using numbers instead of doing it manually but um, since this is a texture and uh, small arrows will not be visible I will do just do it like that and I think that will that makes this tutorial much easier so and the uh, result is still impressive I think we have a hole here, we can actually let it like that if we want to have a hole, if not we can um, extrude that too, like this, and then we closed it, but I think it will look better if there is a hole, so let the, let the hole there. Okay, we did it for this part, we want a tier 2, extrude size, tuck. we want a tier 2, extrude size, tuck. and here, extrude size, or scale. Uh, oops, extrude scale, extrude scale, oops, try to make all 
um, faces or small faces here, S and S, other ones. Otherwise, the uh, results will look strange. So, approximately the same. So, it's a scale. Actually, it would be very easy to make it perfect by saying uh, x root size 0 0.9. Um, if I would have done that for all of the um, edges, all of them would have exactly the same height. I will continue doing it here with that. And if you want, you can do that with all of them, it will look better then. So, extrude size 0 0.9. Duck, 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 duck. Extrude scale 0 0.9. That, 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 that. Extrude scale 0 0.9. That, 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 that. Extrude scale 0 0.9. Yeah, I know, it's a little bit boring, but you need to be patient by modeling uh, those details. Here is the win. Oh, uh, 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 I forgot where the window is. Let's see. Ah, uh, the window is here. Okay. So let's continue. Duck, duck. Here it can maybe look strange because we have more vertices here, but I think it should be fine. Yeah. So we have a double line here. Don't know. I don't know if we want that. Actually, I would just make it like that. Render it. Use it as a text and Look at the result. And if I'm not sat satisfied with this hole here, I would just go to this file again, remove it, render it again, use it as a texture again, and so on. Let's see. I don't know if we need this this uh, degree of detail in this tutorial, but let's see. Oh, wait a moment. I will just make uh, the first layer visible again to see where, where we are. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's our decision if we want to have the grid here too. I will just just mm, I will do it. And this is again the same. If I'm not satisfied afterwards, I would just go come here again and render the image again with, with some modifications. Oh. Uh, I thought about deactivating the recording while I do that, but then I think it will be not as transparent as if I, if I do it just in front of you, you know. So just press fast forward if it, if it is too boring for you. Well, let's see. Yeah, see we could actually almost use this real model in our ship if we want, but um, we would have to take uh, make sure that something like that does not happen and the shadow here, we can actually deactivate the shadow here. But it will be become more and more, and more difficult if we really want to model that. I use this model perfectly, but in a texture it will become perfectly immediately. So let's av um, avoid the um, shadow which we saw right now. Um, this is done, I think, here. And, and look, where, are the, where is the shadow section? Where is the shadow action? Uh, section? Uh, okay, we will not waste our time. Well, I search that just I will just uh, return in a minute. Pause. So I'm back again. Uh, the reason why I didn't found it was just because we was we were in. No, I don't know. It, it was exactly there where I searched it. Yeah, well, well, so something like that can happen. So uh, this is the grid. It should not um, cast any shadow, and it should not receive a shadow. And actually, this part should not receive a shadow too right now. And um, shadows will come from the light, and uh, the real 3D version, the 2D version, should not have, and that's it. Well, the texture should not have uh, shadows. <coughs> uh, another thing I see is that the color is exactly the same like that. Um, let's at least uh, change it a little bit. So this is an own texture and uh, um, stuff now, and let's say I'll grid. Oops. Quit. Make it a little bit more dark. So, okay. Let's see. Okay. Uh, let's also select. Oops, select all of these which we right now um, uh, modeled and let's extrude it a little bit to the height that it also has a depth. Um, this is actually not so important for the. Um, uh, well, 
we have here uh, now we have see that too I think uh, if you look from above uh, well, they will be visible um, in fact if we don't like them we can easily 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 uh, remove them by pressing by making something like that and saying x hatch bar and again yeah. so uh, but I like them actually let I removed the, this one right now but I will let this one there because well, I like that. Okay, um, we have a basic grid here. Um, I will save this animation, this, this tutorial animation, and continue in a few minutes.